Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, spacefarers. Welcome to another episode of Starfield. I am Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, we are going to <laughs> try to go back. I, I kind of hate doing this, but we apparently missed our objective here on Delta Volpes. And I think that part of the reason why, and also we have to explore this planetary system, but I think that part of the reason why which one was it? I think it was this one. Nope. Oh, part of the reason why is because I did not ever tag it. So the tag was that I was following is from the wrong location. So we never found this guy. Um, so we're going to head on back there. Okay, I should say, um, before I do that, we are currently hanging out here on Beta Thernia, uh, Turnian. I, I did notice this this is kind of interesting there's a pirate fleet captain out here and I kind of want to avoid that because I suspect that it's part of the crimson fleet quest line so I don't want to go there and like punch him in the nose and like kill him and potentially destroy the crimson fleet quest line uh, but I did finish up scanning beta Turnian. this planet is crazy I've never seen this many locations on any planet except for maybe Jemison? Like, look at this. It's nuts. Um, and there were tons of animals and tons of plants. So I, I actually kind of feel like this is one of the plants that, one of the first plants that they designed because there's, in some ways, there's a lot of love and care that went into this that did not go into like other planets. Wow, there's more flora and fauna out here. Is there flora and fauna on all of these plants? There is. Wow. That's crazy. All right. Um, well, I suspect that we're going to end up on some of these other plants sooner or later anyway, so I'm not going to go and bother them. Uh, I'm not going to go and start exploring where we're just going to have to explore again later anyway. So let's go back to Delta Volpes. And I do have to um, scan all these planets. So this is going to be a bit of a scanning episode, but there might be some combat too, because we're going to go and go back to the abandoned cryo lab, fight this guy. Another planet without native life. All we need to concern ourselves with then is other visitors. I kind of hope that they respawn so that we get some more combat, but I don't think it's been enough time. Sailing through the air here. Low, low grav. I mean, this should be fairly quick. Ooh, contraband cash. We'll take this. Alright, what do we have here?
Pretty easy. Alright, we got a contraband cache. That's nice. I like having contraband. Alright, a lot of this stuff kind of looted along the way before. So I'm not going to re-loot it. I will keep my eyes open for anything. Because towards the end we did kind of... I was getting frustrated, so I kind of skipped ahead. Um, you know, if there's that giant contraband cache on the outside, I suspect that there isn't a whole lot of contraband on the inside. Um, but that might be false. Who knows? Well, somebody cleaned up the bodies. It does not appear as though they've respawned, though. Somebody here. Oh, we ain't done yet. Rogue scientist, huh? Very strange. What is going on here? <laughs> Let's just make sure that this actually worked. Okay, it does look like it worked. Okay. I think I, I think I understand what happened. <laughs> we still don't have the key for this though. You know what? Maybe we should just pick it. Oh, we do have the key. How do we get the key? I don't remember picking it up. Wait. Alright. I guess we have to... Yeah, I guess we have to pick it. Someone locked that for a reason. Let us see what it is. Hello? Did you pick... Literally nothing interesting. What the hell? Let's try the other one. So tedious. Just loot this place really quick. Yeah, we have not been here. Um, let's see if there's actually the ability to break glass in this game. Alright, I guess that's that. That answers our mystery as to what's behind the doors, which is not a whole lot. So let's get out of here. Um, do I dare? Fine. Let's go. that up. One, two. Wait. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, there and here. 
There we go. Alright, so upstairs. Oh, it would have been nice to have that key. there. I think we've already been there. I think we got in there through the normal ways. Let's just check the end of this and see if there's anything else. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's the doors we just opened. Alright, let's go back and do this loot location. Okay, so here's what I think happened with the... Uh, with the guy who, like when we came through the last time, we were unable to complete the mission. Like we should have run across that rogue scientist at some point, right? You would have thought. Okay, I think I know where we are. We could probably just go, oh no, this is not where I thought we were. This place is a maze. Okay, we'd have to get back up to... Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, I'm lost. I think we go this way. Unfortunately, I think this is the long way through here. It would have been easier to go back to the beginning. dashed line that happens on the ground is not coming up anymore. Go! Right. Okay. Now we're in the right place. I could open that door, but I suspect there's nothing interesting. Let's, let's just quickly check the end and see if there's anything cool. That's right, we cut our way in and we didn't ever take a look. But there's nothing interesting. Oh, we didn't go up. Go up. something, please. Okay, what is up here? What the? Really? There better be. Ugh, come on. Why? Why is there an invisible barrier here? Okay. Um, but now there is. Wonderful. What the hell is wrong with these pipes? The hitboxes on these pipes are all fucked up. Oh, hey, contraband. Harvested organs. One harvested organ. Profit is never necessarily the aim, but if there is... So what is this Marzana project data? Stop, get out of here. Go. Something worked. Marzana partial project data protected by Sesshet encryption. Uh, all content exclusively owned. Yeah, okay, this is the same as before. I wonder if there's like a Ryujin quest where we can like trade these in for money or something. You know what? We don't even have to get out of here this way. We can just teleport out of here. Um. Okay, so here's what here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save, save. Thank you. And 
we're gonna head on back to Jemison. Requires to be scanned. Oh no, we have to go back to the ship first. Why does this? Oh, <laughs> I click on the ship and it's like, do you want? Do you mean here? Well, if the sh if you mean by ship, then yes. No, we want to get up and we want to stash the contraband because we have so much of it. We have to do this tedious dance, stash contraband, then uh, get scanned, pick up contraband, <laughs> land, stash contraband at the safe house, um, the lodge. All right, so I'm also going to stash all of our resources because we it's really kind of stacking up. And the rest would be in our misc. Store all. Why do we have a succulent? Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to save. And then we're going to travel Jemison. I'm not going to sit down and waste time on that animation I've seen like a thousand times before. Oh, you know what? We were supposed to... We were supposed to uh, survey some of these other planets. All right, Jemison will be next episode. Actually, that, that'll be good because then we can start on the main quest line again. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to... Um, Gamma Volpe's main prime or prime. Nothing on scanners. We'll scan this way. Alright, we're good to go. We'll wait a second to see if we get any starboard warping in. I don't see any. Alright, let's move on. Yeah, so this will be another survey episode, but I'll try to make it quick. These are mostly dead planets, so I don't think that we're going to have any problems. Yeah, it's, it'll go fast. Alright, uh, so we've got C down, so let's grab D. Set course. Travel. Travel. Scan. Okay, we are going to have to land on it. We'll give it a second to see if any starboard warp in. Looks like we're still in the clear. Uh, there are no locations of interest, so we'll just land anywhere. Uh, probably land on a neodymium site. Let's go. Surface features, come on, let's scan it. Sweet, let's get out of here. Come on. Uh, B would be next. Beatable. 
shouldn't say that. That's something fate. I'm sure it's beatable by something, but our battleship is pretty beefy. Wrestling with lasers. We don't really have to aim, we just kind of fly where we want to go and it takes care of the rest. So it's 2,000 away, that's 2,000 away, I suppose it makes no difference. Spaceship debris, huh? I hate that scan. <laughs> okay. So we have iron and helium. We'll go ahead and take a look at the spaceship debris. I mean, we're going through this so fast that it's possible we will have time to get back to Jefferson. No breathable atmosphere. A little extra excitement, eh? None of the planets we've been on lately have been have had a breathable atmosphere, lady. Crash site, they're usually pretty standard. Looks like we're coming in from the back again. Yep. I mean, arguably, this is probably the better way to come in because it allows us. There's sometimes a location over here that has a box with reddits in it or something. So, yeah, it's usually around here. There it is. so cookie cutter that we've never been here before and yet I know exactly where stuff is. Reactive gauge, you yeah, know, we don't need that. No, we don't need any of that stuff. We don't even need, like, food anymore because we just automatically replenish health at this point. Slowly, but... Slowly, but perceptibly. Nothing in this game is worth anything. It's too abundant. The only things that are worth stuff are like magazines. Finding magazines. Stuff like that. Alright, let's get out of here. You're explored. That means A is the only one left. Let's just check this. Okay, D, S, B, C prime, and A. Let's go ahead and set course. Yep. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of time to get back to jump. Any adventure you can fly away from. Let's see if anybody warps in and challenges us. Scan. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. Um. 
rocky desert it is. This place has water on it. Interesting. It said there was no life though. of different types of resources. And no surface features of interest. Yeah, let's walk towards that's just a cave. Oh well, something to set our sights on. that we're not close to that ocean. Though. Are we going to have a tough time getting water here? Because it might be really warm. So we might not have water in like chunk form. It looks like it could be a pretty warm planet. It doesn't say though, does it? Let's get on top of a mountain so we can see for a decent distance. Let's see if we can find any water. Temperature is, is 44. Okay, we're not going to find any water ice. Though. Oh, unless it's Celsius, in which case we still wouldn't find any water ice. Maybe we have to go to... What does your scanner reveal? There might be some of the geyser. Titanium here. Keep our eyes open for that. We can definitely use that. Probably gonna have to lift up and go to a different location on the planet just to find the water. Like the fact that there's an ocean here, it'd be interesting if we could just like land near the ocean and just like scan the ocean and get the water that way. Alright, this does not seem profitable. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Go, show resources, we're looking for H2O. Maybe we should just try to land right next to the ocean. I'm trying to find one that says shore. I wonder if we land in one of these places that's... Oh, there we go. Coast. I wonder if we can just scan the ocean. That'd be interesting. Assume that that way is the coast. Is the ocean? Come on. Where's the map? I'm pressing the map button. There we go. Surface map. Yeah, that... Looks like the ocean. 
Another thing is... Yeah, the compass isn't great. It would be better if there were like a heads-up compass like along the top. That actually showed your bearing. But that's me getting spoiled by Helldivers, because that's what they do in Helldivers. But I mean, that's what they do in a lot of games, too. That's how they do it. That's how they have compasses in Subnautica. It's just really useful. Yeah, we shove our scopes up as we're for water. Tungsten. Not shortly, whether or not we can just scan the ocean. Wait, why are there seagull sounds? There's no life on this planet. Unless that's something else making that noise. Can't, we're, we're looking for water, we can't scan this giant body of water? Really? Is this not water here? Okay, well, um, hmm. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> um. There's really nothing to even look at in terms of like... Yeah, I mean, there's no surface features to even chase after. To kind of... Use as our North Star just to have a location to go towards. And we can go back to our ship or we just follow that path. radiation warning on this planet. Alright, how are we going to do this? I guess if we're looking for liquid water, or if we can't use liquid water, the only other thing to do would be to go to the poles. Volcanic. Try that, I guess. See if we can find some ice up there. Still 44 degrees. So that's interesting. The planet does not have. Oh, nice. What is this water in the form of? I want to take a look at this supposed water. Yeah, it's it's a hot spring. Okay. Well, whatever. Whoa, we we're taking environmental damage. All right, let's get back to the ship. Heck, let's just go straight to Jemison. We don't need to do all these in-between in steps, do we? All right, let's go. Star map. Mosey on back to civilization. Back to Alpha Centauri. Jemison and set course. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And complete. Enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. Go grab our contraband. How full is our inventory? Oh, not too bad. Okay, plenty of space. Uh, all right. Take our licit hull. And go ahead and land. 
launch. Stash it. And I suppose we have to figure out what else to do here. Um, we are kind of running out of side quests, though. It might be time to do the Unity quest. Will we be stopping for food? I would not mind trying something, and there are plenty of options. If nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. And an excellent place for me to, st to store all kinds of harvested organs and... It's kind of ridiculous. All right. Uh, so inventory. Misc. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right. So currently in storage, we have a little bit of Aurora. We have 20 black market antiques. I don't know why these don't stack. We have 38 harvested organs, once again, not stacking. Uh, 25 mech components, once again, not stacking. Uh, 45 sentient AI adapters, once again, not stacking. 12 stolen artworks. 15 Xeno Warfare techs, once again, not stacking. The only one that seems to stack appropriately is the Varun Heretic writings, of which we have 11. Wonderful. All right, what can we do here? Oh, actually, we need to finish up returning these beans. Uh, so we'll do that first, just to get it out of the quest line. I think... Captain Molly, may I be of assistance on your ship? I think I'm going to return it to the, the guy who initially ordered us to go out and get it. It seems like a betrayal. Well... He seemed like kind of a douchebag, but I don't want to be like a enormous douchebag back, honestly. I mean, he just wants a special coffee, right? He's a connoisseur. He can definitely appreciate it. The other guy, I wonder who they are. Where is the other, the other, sell the beans to the competitor. Where is that? Uh, turret room. Well, it might be interesting to see who the competitor is. But it won't let me look, return the beans, sell the beans to the competitor. Let's just see who the competitor is. Is it, is it just the, um, uh, what's it called? Turret room? Looks like it's taking us too terribly. We can talk to them. Oh, it's somebody outside of Terrible. Somebody sitting at Terrible. If you're looking for a cup, one of our baristas will be glad to help you. Okay, you are Terrible. We service locations all over the settled systems. Just look for our handy logo. Do you know a man named Kieran Cooper? I do. He was supposed to provide me with a sample of exotic coffee beans. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I have the beans right here, or never mind. I'm going to say never mind. All right. Our baristas are here if you need anything. So here, my, here's my thought. Um... I don't think it's actually something that we want to encourage a bunch of people eating basically fecal matter. <laughs> if this guy wants to try to eat uh, poop beans and he thinks that they're especially good, that's fine. You know, you do you. But uh, we probably shouldn't popularize this. I don't think it's that probably that good of an idea to have everybody eating the poop beans. Um, <laughs> if you want to be some ritzy um, booty, go ahead. Oh, I thought that was a magazine. 
Hmm. A good Cabernet is a better dining companion than any person. Wow, that, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty damn antisocial. Um, I found the predator, and you made it back alive, which already puts you ahead of your predecessor. I trust you've brought my property with you. Wow, actually, I didn't real. I didn't remember how much of a douchebag this guy is. I remember he was a douchebag, but I'm not kind of annoyed by him already. Do you know know your original contractor is going to sell the beans to someone else? I did not, but it seems to have all worked out in the end. When you're in my position, it often does. I'm going to sell it to her. I'm going <laughs> I've changed my mind. Not yet. Then I suggest you do. Goodbye. You know, for somebody who's like, uh, a fine wine is a better d dining companion, you seem to be dining on nothing, and you seem to have had a companion who left. Anyway. Alright, poop beans it is for the universe. <laughs> Okay, so they were in the commercial district. Let's go. Yeah, I got corns. Man, everybody in this universe has corns, too. Maybe they need to... You know, you think in a science fiction universe they'd have, like, better boots and shoes. But, uh, apparently not. Alright. Every cup of coffee we serve is certified fresh. Well, this one is certified fresh from some monster's ass, so why can't I talk to you? I hate this game. <laughs> no, I don't hate it, but there's so much that if needs to be better. If you're looking for a cup, better. one of our baristas will be glad to help you. You know a man named Karen Cooper? I do. Yep, yep. He, you wouldn't happen to know anything about I have the beans right here. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's fantastic. I'll have them disposed of immediately. Yeah, <laughs> that's good stuff. You aren't going to study them? Why would we do that? Procuring these beans and producing them on a large scale is not within our budget. But we also can't have people knowing better options exist. So the only responsible thing to do is destroy them. <laughs> this is great. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Um, so this actually ended up going um, entirely the way that I wanted to. Uh, what is the reward? Same deal I promised Cooper. 3,000 credits. You know what? I changed my mind. Okay. Be sure to have a cup of coffee before you go. Now I want to see what that guy does. Sorry. Sorry for all the indecision, all the back and forth. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> So, I mean, that is the best option, I would say. I would say that um, destroying it, because we probably shouldn't be having people drinking I told poop them water. Was bad idea. But it seems like uh, she was not going to serve them anyway, so... At least this guy can probably appreciate it. So let's get, let's let him eat his poop. Plenty of people are accomplished, but not all of them are interesting. I trust you know the way out. I like how he's uh, just like flipping into the chair. That's what, that's what poopy coffee allows you to do. I never work up a sweat. I leave the labor and anxiety to those who serve me. Wow, you're such an asshole. <laughs> I found the predator. And you made it back alive. Which yep. I trust you brought... Here you go. Excellent. And as promised, here is your reward. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have business to attend to. Really? I thought that... I thought he would... See you. I, I'm kind of interested in how he actually feels about it. I was hoping that there would be like, oh, let's brew this up, what the hell. 
let's brew this up right now and he can tell us whether or not it's amazing or tastes like poop. <laughs> he should be like, that's a very nutty flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> all right. So here's what I think we're going to do in the next episode here. I mean, I, going to the crib, the system would actually be a good thing. But we are here on Jemison. I mean, eventually we got to start doing this actual Unity quest. Right? I should have done Charybdis while we were out there on the fringe. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Unity will take us out near the Charybdis system because I am kind of curious about the main quest. So let's do some let's put some uh, some time into the main quest but we'll we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. Here we're leaving with Andrea. I hope that you enjoyed this and if you have please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.